The first price you put for any product is never going to be the right price. In fact, it takes a lot of refining and split testing to really find the offer structure that will convert at the highest level. And in fact, when you look at some of the biggest brands like Fabletics, for instance, the reason why they've been able to scale a large part of it is that they promote heavily their two for $24 shorts offer. Every single ad, all their banners mention their offers more than the actual fabric or their products. And if they had a vanilla offer like buy one for $24 and it's maybe 30 or 40% off, that would never never convert as well as the two for $24 shorts. They really found the offer that works the best. And that's the same approach you have to have whenever you're testing a product. You can't just say, well, it's a good product. I think this price is fair. No, you have to be testing because the reality is it can't be a fair price. It has to be they are getting more value for what they are paying for, which is why you have to be testing things. So your customer has to feel like they're getting more value than what they're paying for. Otherwise, they're not going to buy your product. So that's where you have to be split testing different price points, different offer structures. And we're going to talk about all of that in this video. Now, before I get into my next point, if you want me to personally mentor you and help you start and scale your next dropshipping store to $1,000 a day or more, all you have to do is book a call down below and either me or my team will call you and see if we're the right fit to work with you. Now, if you are selling these windows, winter leggings that on Amazon go for around 30 to $35. That is the perceived value. And your supplier says, Hey, we can get these for about $9 50 cents. What is the offer that you would do to try to entice people to buy from you compared to Amazon? Now, what most people tend to do is that they'll price it at, let's say 32 99. And to try to get people to buy, they'll have a fake sale where the compare price is 64 99. So it's 50% off. Now, while that might work, I think that's a pretty vanilla standard offer that people are used to. And they're just going to scroll right by that. Now you could try maybe be raising the compare at price to a 70% off deal while being $32.99. You could try the price at $29.99. There has to be some sort of equilibrium where you will figure out what price works the best, but you just don't want to make the mistake of, all right, it's $32.99, 50% off. And that is the only offer we will ever do. But when I look at this chart right here and I see that, okay, if I get two of these leggings for $15, what if I do a deal where you can get two of these leggings for 35 instead of buy one at 32? Now, while I could do the offer of 50% off, buy one for $32. And for that, I make about $22 in profit. The other offer, which I believe is so much more enticing, the 35 and buy two, I make $20, which isn't a big difference, but the perceived value of getting two leggings over one and only paying an extra $3 is so much more enticing than that first offer. And that's where a customer will think to themselves, okay, I'm given 35, but I'm getting two leggings back. That's a good deal. I am getting more money than I am exchanging to them. And that is the feeling you need to have to create an irresistible offer. And you might even do something where it's buy three for $45. That could be another offer. And again, you still make $24 if you have the right supplier and margins. So you should be able to play around and try to avoid doing these vanilla 50% off. And it's just you raising the compare price because that doesn't actually increase the perceived value of the offer because people just know intrinsically, yeah, these leggings are not worth $65. So that's where I would say you can compete with Amazon, even if you are a small brand, just by having the right bundle offer. Because on Amazon, you can't really do bundles. I mean, maybe occasionally, but in most cases, if I were to buy two of these leggings, so okay, one at 33, maybe that's a decent deal. But if I want two for 66, that's not a great deal. So if I had that offer on my brand where you can get two of these leggings for 35 and I still make $20 profit, that is such a much better offer than Amazon that people will want to buy from you instead of them. And another reality is with Amazon, you could see your product on there for 15 to $20, but you could sell it for 30 to 40 if you build a brand around it. Because a lot of people will say, well, why would I buy? from your brand when I can buy it from Amazon. Well, why does someone buy from Supreme their $400 t-shirts when I can buy the same t-shirt with the same material for $20? It's just branding. Now, if you're enjoying this video, fam, make sure to smash that like button and let's aim for at least 300 likes. Now, where it gets interesting is you might do the buy two for $35 and it's obviously converting well, or it might need to still be tweaked around. So you might have to do an offer of buy two for $30 or buy two for $40. That's where you still have to play around, even if you have a good offer structure, because again, the first offer offer you test is never going to be the perfect offer. So you need to know how do I split test a uh, buy two for 35 versus buy two for 45? Because if you still have the same conversion rate on both offers and you're making $10 more on offer B, then yes, it makes sense to then just go with offer B. Now, as an e-commerce brand owner, it is your job to find out what offer, what price is gonna work the best for your product. And I would say the best way of doing that is through a redirect test on Google Optimize. So if you set up Google Analytics on your store, you can easily set up a redirect test, which as you can see right here is where you would split test two different URLs. So let's say this is my original product page where I'm pricing my product at $34.99 and the compare at is $114, which I know it's kind of crazy, but once we click create, that will be the original 
original page that we test. And then we can also split test sending 50% of our traffic from the original page to this new page, which could be exactly identical, it literally could just be duplicated. And the only thing you change is, okay, instead of 34, let's try 3099. So what you would do is click on add variant, then redirect to a single page, just like this, click on done. And then 50% of our traffic that was supposed to go to our original landing page will still go to that original landing page. But then another 50% will go to that second landing page with a different offer. So if in all of your ads, this is your original landing page, then what Google will do is it will segment that traffic and send 50% to product page A versus product page B so that you can evaluate which one actually delivers the best revenue. So once you're done, you would just scroll on down to objectives, go to choose from list, and then you would do purchase revenue. So you want the one that gives you the most revenue per user. But if you want a full video of how to set up Google Optimize and do a ton of other split tests besides your offer, I have a whole video right here that's dedicated to this amazing tool. It's completely free and it is a must have if you want to be serious about e-commerce. So now let's do it for another product. So for this instance, we are selling this shower head. Now, when I am coming up with my first offer for any product, I like to figure out what is the average price this product is being sold for online. And it could be on Amazon. It could be just on general brands that are selling this. So we're on Amazon right now. And I can see this listing is for $34.99, but I'm using the tool Jungle Scout. And basically what it can do is it can filter by all the shower head listings and see what the average price is. And as you can see, the average price is about $38. So you might want to do anything between $35 to $40 for that initial price. But another way of doing the research is going onto Google, looking up the keywords of your product, so shower head filter, and then again, trying to get the feel of as to what the average is among these different listings. So we got 25, we got 36, 45, 66. There's a lot of different offers. So I would say definitely the general consensus is about 30 to $45. So now that we know the perceived value and our supplier has quoted this at $11, what should be a good offer for us to do? And I would say, is this something that people can buy more than one of? And a shower head filter, yes. Most people have multiple bathrooms, so they have multiple shower heads that they can replace. So this is 100% something we can do buy one, get one free, buy one, get two free, something along those lines that is enticing. Now, after checking with my supplier, if I was to buy two of these, it wouldn't be $11. It would be about $15 to $16. So I would say a great first offer could be buy one, get one free. And then you start the offer at $36.99, or you can word it as buy two for $36. So again, it could be just the wording of the way that you do the offer, even though it's essentially the same thing. Buy one, get one free is the exact same as buy two for 36 if they're at the exact same price point. But you'd be so surprised. You should split test two different landing pages that say buy two versus BOGO to see which one converts better because you really don't know. You just want to avoid the mistake that every dropshipper does of only prioritizing buying one. And they always will do $34.99. Okay, it's 30% off. The compare price will be $49.99 or the compare price will do $70. That's not how you want to do things. You want to incentivize people to buy more and really feel like this is the deal of a lifetime. So that offer might be buy one one get two free. And in that case, let's say it costs you $20 to give three away. You might want to start that offer at $39.99 or $44.99 because you still make $25 profit and people get three of these shower heads. So buy one, get two free. That is super duper enticing for a lot of people, at least a hell of a lot more than the typical 40% off. And that's it. Now, when you're doing a BOGO offer or buy one, get two free deal on your website, this is how to do it inside of Shopify. So you go into the discount section, create discount, and then you do buy X, get Y. Now, I like to make this an automatic discount where if someone adds two to their cart and it's a BOGO deal, then it automatically will cancel it out and say that the second one is free. So how you would do that is you just say, hey, if you have one of these in your cart, let's say it's an audio blade, it's just a headphone, then the customer will get for free another one of these just by clicking on free one quantity and then we click on save. And as we can see, we're on the checkout and our first one was $60 and the next one was free. And it's the same thing if you're doing a buy one, get 30% off. So you just say one in the cart and instead of free, you would do a percentage off of 30%. And that can automatically be done once they add it to cart. Now, while this video is mainly on offers, there are so many other things you could split test on your product pages to optimize your conversion rate. Now, the first thing could be as innocuous as changing your font. Maybe you have the wrong font style for your website. So as we can see right here, I got this more bubbly type of font. It's my nice and relaxing. It's not too serious. And then over here, this is more stylish. This is more elegant. And again, stuff Stuff like this does make a difference. And when you are choosing fonts, I would recommend stick with the same font throughout 
your product page. You don't want to have three or four fonts, which a lot of beginners do. And personally, I would just recommend taking a screenshot of all these different things that you can do because there's so many split tests that I honestly would, this video would be so long if we covered all of them. So if you are an e-commerce brand and you're making any split test to your website, I would highly recommend Google Optimize this native tool because as you can see right here on my product page, I can remove my logo if I'm testing a different logo to see how the conversion rate is. I can split test different product titles. You can split test prices, but it wouldn't be through an A-B test. It would be through a redirect test where you have two landing pages. One has one price. The other page has another price. So you could do that. But again, you can get rid of certain sections. So if you're like, hmm, I'm not sure if this section would work really well. Well, guess what? You can just remove it by right clicking and then remove. So if you have some sections that you're split testing, like having a testimonial section, maybe you want to have 50% of traffic go to a landing page with that section and then have 50% where you don't have that because maybe it's too long. And again, you can customize all the text that has HTML. So instead of get yours, we might want to do something like sale ending soon. It could be as simple as that. So if you are split testing different headlines, images, sections, you have to be using Google Optimize. And it could be as simple as doing an add to cart button split test with the color. So maybe this blue wouldn't be the best one at converting well. So what we can do is scroll down on the right side, go to the background color, as we can see right here, and maybe we want to change it to an all black look. Maybe that converts better. Maybe we want to do a green look. We don't really know what's going to convert the best until we split test. And once you do set up this split test where 50% of your traffic goes to your original page versus 50% to the one with the green add to cart button, what I would recommend doing is letting at least a couple thousand people see both landing pages over the course of a week to two weeks. And then you would note down which split test performs the best. So if you are doing any split test at all on your e-commerce website, you have to be doing it at least for a couple of weeks and then put it through a statistical significant calculator to see if that change actually made a difference. So let's say I changed the color of my add to cart button and I did that for 14 days and 10,000 people saw a green add to cart button and that converted at 1%. And let's say 10,000 people saw a red add to cart button and that got me 140 conversions at 1.4%. Now, when we plug it in, we can see that it's almost at 100% probability that that change in the add to cart button actually was the reason why we got a better conversion rate. Now, there's still a little bit of chance that the change could be just based on random luck. So that's where you would want to do the split test for a little bit longer, collect a little bit more data. But if it was really significant, let's say it boosted my conversion rate by 60%, then as you can see right here, it was the 100% chance that that split test was the reason why our conversion rate went up or down in some instances. And when you you have a brand or winning product, it is your job to every single week have a split test going on so you can optimize your conversion rate. And it might be your offer. It could be the landing page structure. It could be trying to add a new section. It could be doing new headlines, new images. It could be a variety of different things, but you have to be split testing different product pages all of the time so you can make the most money. And I would say Google Optimize is the best way to do it. So if you're interested in learning more, the video is up here, baby girl. And my final tad piece of advice is if you are already optimizing your offer and you're wondering what is the next best split test to do, I would say it's typically gonna be the whole entire structure of your landing page. So you might wanna try different sections in different places, having testimonials up here. And maybe you wanna try instead of having a testimonial, you have urgency in this little banner message. You can try so many different things, but the higher up this split test on the landing page, then the more likely it is to make a difference because 100% of your traffic will see the top of your landing page. But when you scroll on down to even halfway on a landing page, typically only 40 to 30% of your traffic is actually going to see that far down, which is why great split test could be the first image that people see. So you might want to do a professional image versus a UGC image. You might want to split test again, different prices, different product titles, having urgency versus social proof, having bullet point benefits here compared to just not having that. Or you might want to have a sub title, which is one to two benefits written out right here. And then you get into the variance. There could be so many different things. Having your add to cart appear right under the price and then having all these things under it. You really don't know what's going to work until you test.